club leads in their last match. There's belief that the Gunners could be poised to start an unbeaten run in the second half of the season, like the one that saw them win the championship two seasons ago. Well, following the defeat of Leeds, there are no changes in Arsenal's team, so the overseas trio of Oleg Luzhny, Gilles Grimandi and the Brazilian Silvino again preferred in the back four to the old guard of Keon, Winterburn and Dixon. Still no return for the injured Bergkamp, so Kanu and Thierry Henry continue their partnership up front. Sheffield Wednesday made one change from the team that lost 3-0 to Chelsea. Dutchman Gerald Simon replaces the injured Andy Booth. Since the sale of the Brazilian Emerson Tome, Peter Atherton has been moved to central defence, a position from which he got the winning goal in the last home game against Middlesbrough. Club leads, Arsenal ought to win comfortably against the bottom club, Sheffield Wednesday. But nothing is certain. Indeed, Arsenal's recent visits to this ground have been anything but successful. Just one win in the last five, one win out of seven since the Premiership was formed. But they haven't scored a goal here for 447 minutes. Here's Luzhny into Kanu. Booze all round for Vieira. Overmars just managing to get it to Kanu. Here's Lundberg. Well, it was well. Vim Young's header. Alexanderson. beats them all. Henri was coming back from an offside. 45 goals this season. It's a, a mark of success to be approaching half-time without conceding one, but they might hear Petit! Oh, goodness me! Arsenal, having in truth played the first 35 minutes of this match at a counter, have suddenly lifted the pace as we approach half-time. And that was so incisive. Lundberg to Henri. Petit continued his run forward. He got goal side of Des Walker and then just nicked it past Czernicek. Arsenal take the lead after 40 minutes. And they've almost done it without breaking sweat. Oh, Sheffield Wednesday funneling it backwards to Atherton, almost giving it away. It's just a, a collective lack of confidence about the team who are, who are rock bottom. Oh, Adams blocked the run of Vim Young, it's a free kick. And Adams is roundly booed because it's a decision which some in the crowd feel might have come earlier for similar contacts, mostly against the builder. Left footed by Hinchcliffe was dipping, not quickly enough. Well, this is Sheffield Wednesday's ninth season back in the top division. Their best finish in the Premiership has been seventh, what they would give for the, the dizzy heights of the top half of the table. Here's Petit. And you just sense that the, a second Arsenal goal here would, would really wrap it up. Vim Young. It's aimed at Simon. Here's Alexanderson. Support offered by Nolan, but he's ignored. Now Nolan is used. It's a good cross! Sheffield Wednesday are made of. Hillsborough has erupted. But the cross was deep. Seaman knew that he couldn't get anywhere near it. And it was the tall, lanky figure of Gerard Sibon at the far post. 
which has put Sheffield Wednesday back in this match. Only his... Well, it's, it's a match now which shows you the, the quality of the Premiership. Arsenal having beaten Leeds in the last match, are having to hold on here against the team who are bottom. It's a sharp turn and a wonderful strike that had beaten Seaman. Denied close to the incident. But it would have been harsh against the, the Arsenal man. Vim Young takes the corner. That was Vieira's clearing header. Knocked up by Suka. It's Nigel Winterburn. Adams was well positioned. Alexanderson to Vim Young. Here's De Builder. De Builder will get to this. Well, he did it to a close. It's a battling point for Sheffield Wednesday, the team who are bottom of the Premiership. At the end of the season, the one point may not prove enough, but perhaps of more significance, the two points which Arsenal have dropped, having beaten Leeds, the top club in the Premiership in their last match, unable here at Hillsborough to defeat the bottom team, Sheffield Wednesday.